Hello and welcome back to another episode of Permacraft. Today we are going to be doing a bit of building, which I feel like I haven't done like properly for a while. Our last episode I did my interior in here and upstairs and a few other things and uh, yeah today I feel like I need to do some oh, building and for some reason I keep glitching out on top of this chest I logged out and uh, things are just lagging out like crazy. I had no idea what was happening. I, am, I slept just before I recorded to see if it was dark enough outside but uh Obviously someone just popped up in chat, brilliant. So in here I have all the materials and probably a bit more than I need. Don't need any gunpowder, don't know why that's in there. But um, we're going to be building an airship and we're going to make it orange because I like the colour orange, I think it's really nice in the clay. And uh, we're just going to head over to the horse track when it stops lagging out and uh, start building this thing. So if you look over there, just behind the skull, which you can't quite see from over here, but I have started on the airship. It's going to be up there because I feel like that's going to be enough space for you to be able to see it for quite a while. Uh, as soon as you come up on this ridge you'll see this, a bit of the skull there, kind of hidden by trees a little bit. And then you have the massive airship over there which isn't going to be all that massive. It's not going to be much longer than that. It'll be a little longer over this side but that's not going to matter too much because that'll be like the tail part of it. And then we'll have obviously the massive balloon thing at the top over there and Basically, it's going to go be going that way, it's travelling that way, I don't know, away from the horse track, I suppose. I don't feel like if you had one, you know, facing this way, it's going to really be all that much of a uh, view, you know. So you have to really have it on the side, which is a bit of a shame, because I'd quite like it to look as if it was maybe shooting some of the people down um, on the horse track, which would be kind of fancy. But uh, yeah, this is what it looks like so far, and uh, next, next clip, it'll probably look a lot better than this. Okay, so I've been working on this a lot, lot more, and it's looking pretty snazzy up here. It is looking like a boat in the sky. I don't know what it looks like from down there yet, because I haven't gone down. I've tried to bring up as much stuff, like my inventory is completely full, uh, as much stuff as I need to build it. Um, although, I do feel like I will need some more clay than this for the balloon part. Yes, I'm building it out of clay, not wool, because, you know, no one's going to really bother about it. You know, wool is lighter. But, you know, clay is just going to look nicer because it's bright orange and it'll look pretty cool. But anyway, we're going to head over here, take a look back at it and hope it looks cool. Please look, please look good. Ah, oh, look at that. That is pretty cool. So yeah, I am using various um, bits of people's airships that they have already built um, to kind of um, get one that hopefully looks pretty cool. So this one has like a... I'm not quite sure what to call it out the back, like an engine air thing? Because I feel like... You know, they need something to push them along, and a lot of airships don't seem to have that. They seem to be just a boat with a balloon and that's it. There's no, like, you know, way of them moving forward. So this one actually has something like that, and it's got the cobblestone fences holding it up. And I think it looks pretty cool. It looks like you could actually ride that along. I'm going to head over here look at the back of it a little bit. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's going to look really, really cool. And the balloon's going to be really quite large, so... I'm hoping it doesn't overtake the actual bottom part of it and it still looks fairly, you know, okay. But anyway, I'm going to head up there again. I'm going to show you guys some of my building up there because it's just crazy building up in the sky. It's just ridiculously hard. Okay, so we are heading back to spawn right now and we are going to go and get Mumbo. He is around at the moment and we are probably going to hook up and get together to do some redstone and stuff. I don't know whether or not I'm going to be much help at all, so I don't know how long I'm going to be hanging around there. But uh, I'm just going to kind of explain to him what I need done. I need like the teeth to kind of move up and down and stuff. Um, and yeah, it's going to be cool. So I'm probably going to meet up with him in spawn somewhere. I suppose he's going to come over. I'm just going to go now and get some redstone and things. Maybe some, make some pistons up and things like that. Um, I think I might have actually had some over by the horse track. I'm not quite sure, but... Uh, I'm going to get this horse back and uh, we are going to probably start and uh, go and do some redstone and stuff, yeah. Okay, so I am here with False Symmetry, fellow Hello. hermit, and we've got a bit of a project today. Uh-huh, we do indeed. I've heard that False has put a book in the Redstone Consultancy. I hate to say it, I haven't actually read the book. You haven't just, read it yet. Having just oh. thought about it. I haven't read the book. I'm sure it's a oh, great no. book. So it's a brilliant but, book. The best one. Yeah, I, I feel a bit bad actually because you put the time into the, to do the book and I've I've just hopped on here, started talking to it you and realised I actually haven't realised, haven't actually read it. Mm -hmm. But um, what we're going to be doing is, in fact, do you want to explain it? 
Uh, yeah, well, I've built uh, something on the horse track, uh, like a skull thing, and I need it yep. to kind of be a little bit more mechanical, I suppose. It to kind oh. of move its teeth around and eat the horse track people that are going past. <laughs> that sounds good to me. That sounds like a fun little project. So I've actually I've got myself a horse. Folsom's uh -huh. donated a horse to me, and I'm not particularly good at the whole horse riding thing. No, I can right, tell I've I'm not going to be the one. Already. Yeah, I'm stuck in a I'm stuck in a thing. All right, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell I'm not going to be the one that's going to be winning the horse races when we do actually have the yeah, horse racing track. They're a bit of a pain. Yeah. So whereabouts uh, we go do we through have the to portal go? Here. Yeah, and then oh, we keep going. Oh, this not way. actually through it. No, okay. <laughs> just there, uh, walk through it. Yeah. And then we make a glitchy way all the way to the horse track. Okay. Whoa. Your horse might be a little bit faster than mine. I don't know. I don't know, I've not actually, I've not gone the horse uh, test thing, so I don't know how fast they are. You're beating this me already. Doesn't, this guy doesn't seem to be uh, jumping particularly high though, that's the one thing. Yeah, He's he doesn't have jump. have a lot high. of health, but not a lot of jump. So do we have to uh, go all the way along the horse racing, uh -huh. racing track? We go through your little bit of the horse track and then we turn right, I think, and that'll okay. go backwards on the horse track. Alright. So yeah. it'll take a little while to get there, but... That was like Grand National style. I never actually tested that with a horse. <laughs> You've never tested it with a horse? How are you supposed to know it worked? <laughs> like I, said, I, didn't, I didn't know if it was going to work or not. <laughs> it works pretty well, actually. Quite fun. Because I, I wanted it to make it so that it doesn't like stop people. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit of an obstacle, something to think about. I don't know. A bit of fun. Yeah. This is kind of difficult to see where to go when you're going backwards, but... Yeah, I have no idea. Just kind of follow the fences, I suppose. I'm sure that I've oh. actually got all the redstone stuff on me, otherwise that would have been a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah, I've got, got all the way here. Yeah, it's it's not too far. It's literally just like down here, so all we're right. not we're not too too bad. But actually, I went before I actually chose an area to build in. Um, I decided to go round the whole of the horse track, and it took like yeah. half an hour because yeah, I had the slowest a, horse, and I didn't realise it really, was so long. Really long track. It's crazy. Wow. But yeah, what, this is... Is this your section? Yeah, it's my section so far. Oh, cool. We're going backwards on it, so it's not quite uh, how you're yeah, going to well, yeah. it, but yeah. Oh, this is cool. And then this is the skull here. Well, the back of it. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. It's an inverted skull, yeah. Wow, this is awesome. You're going for like the sort of prehistoric bones and uh -huh. fossils and... Oh man, this Pretty is one cool and he's got like burning eyes and everything like that. And then is that is that yours? Did you build that? Yeah, I'm building that at the moment. It's like a little airship thing. Wow. So it's, I've gone with a more kind of a pirate theme, I suppose. <laughs> Even though there's no water really other than a river. Just gone through my section then coming over to yours. I feel a, a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, but, but you built um, the whole redstone thing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, yeah, this is like the, the where I suppose I don't need the teeth. Ish. All right. Okay. So, do you want Maybe. them from like want them coming up and down? So, you want some coming down from the uh, top, or do you want them to pop up from the bottom? I was thinking just the bottom. All right. That that sounds fine to me. The map's not all that big, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say if if you've got them coming down from both sides, that's gonna probably kill a few hermits, not just stop uh -huh. them. Yeah, no right. That might not be the best thing. Yeah. Well. well I'm guessing. I, I really don't want to overcomplicate things, but I guess the first thing is. Yeah, we came from it backwards, didn't it? So uh, they're, they're yeah, going to be coming, coming in from, from down way. here. That means that we, we should have some sort of pressure plates or something that will make the teeth pop up as mm -hmm. people go over them, because otherwise we don't want them running all the time, essentially. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, that should be that should be a, a fairly fairly simple task. In fact, it's so simple that I think I've actually got everything... Oh, did I actually bring any pressure plates? I'm sure I can make some. I've got, I've got some materials. Right, I'm going to say about six pressure plates. That'll... that'll Okay, cool, I'll go make some. The, uh, I think I've got the stuff. Yeah. Yep, I've I've got I've got six pressure plates on me. Oh, I just you found do. some. <laughs> yep. We're okay, all good. Cool. So You bring yeah. your own stuff and everything. I know, I'm a I'm a <laughs> self sufficient redstone engineer. Comes with yep. his own tools, his own materials. Now I'm gonna build the uh, the teeth out of iron just for the second yep. because that's cool. I've Nice pearly white teeth for this dude. <laughs> I know, he's, he brushes his teeth. Yeah. The rest of him is a bit of a mess, but other than that... <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got some, you know, 
He's a bit overgrown, but he's, he's got, got some great issues going care. on. But yeah. <laughs> mm. I guess as far as the redstone is concerned, it's just quite simply putting the redstone next to the pist. Ah, uh, I think I brought my four repeaters, isn't it? Close. Nice. Then, see, I'm used. I've been playing some mods recently, and I'm used to having these boots that make me jump like three blocks. Yeah. I keep trying to jump out of, <laughs> trying to jump out of holes. Strange. But I've never really played mods before, and then going over to mods, then coming back to vanilla, it's all a bit sort. Yeah, and it messes with you a little bit. Yeah. Right. I hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna like clear out a little area. Do you, you can do whatever should, um, you like. Yeah. Reckon we should have the pressure plates around about here because we're on a corner. We should yeah. probably have them. In like a sort of diagonal going across. Mm-hmm. Candy. Right. Base this on like the trajectory. Yeah. Of the curve. Yeah. Getting all sciencey about it and things. <laughs> yeah, I I'd say there's no way that they can't they can't hit those. Yeah, they'll break a few of them. That's fine. Good. Awesome, so it's pretty simple. Yeah, I have to admit, this has been the best job ever. An, yeah, this isn't been an insult or anything. This is how this has been the easiest redstone consultancy job I think I've had so far, which is a which is a good thing. <laughs> that you know I don't have to do quite as much because who who I've done a few. I've done one for Biffa. I did one for Biffa about half a year ago, and I had to build an entire sorting system. That took quite a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and then Corallis, I had to build some like chicken sort of thing. So this should actually we're almost done. Can you believe it? And then we well, can actually give it a test on the horses, which is a... Yeah. Gonna have a race. Plus. <laughs> yeah, we can have like a mini race. I don't know if we'll go all the way around the uh, the whole horse racing track, because that might, might take all month. Yeah, that will. Especially with these horses, they're a bit slow. Yeah, my, my one's not too good. Asking us to sleep. Yeah, I, I can sleep. There's a bed up here, but... I don't know if you want to... Right, well, 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 I'd have to log out, so we'll, we'll let him know. By the look of things, well, my horse just walked over the pressure plates. Did it go up? They went up, so oh, that's, that's that. good. <laughs> He's testing it for us. Yeah, exactly. We've got uh, we've got our own a tester test now. Where? So wait, wait. I can see one horse. Yeah, the other the other one's in a pen behind here. Is he? Yeah. Look at that. He's got his own pen. That's and your one. My one's my one's the wild one. <laughs> I think okay. we got sick and tired of us. <laughs> Fine, right, okay. Out. So let's okay. give this a go. We'll both go for oh, it. No. Oh no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of damage there, but that's fine. <laughs> that's alright. That'll do. I think that's, I think that's cool. job done, to be honest with you. Yeah, that looks awesome. Oh. oh Thank you oh, very much. Oh, 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 we got a creeper. No way. <laughs> I'm going to take him out on the horse. <laughs> I can't wait to see how well this goes. Especially because oh, of how oh, laggy oh. these horses are and Aha. everything. Nicely done, nicely done. Well, thank I have you. to admit, thank you ever so much for that little task. That was really good fun. That was cool. And it was nice to be uh, recording a video with you because for anyone who hasn't seen False Symmetry before, you are a new hermit, and uh -huh. I would highly suggest an out False because she is really, really cool, and she's building. I mean, look how fancy everything that is going on here. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have to step up my game in terms of the uh, the horse racing track because this place looks amazing. Can't wait to get involved and start doing horse racing on uh -huh. this place because yeah that'll be good i look forward to it interesting anyway thank you um for inviting me on yeah, and thank I'm you glad for the that little, you like your little thing little, oh no you know we said it was done <laughs> it is one at a time be quite done <laughs> okay well we can have like selective <laughs> selective tea. yeah i like that it's cool all right we'll we'll say that that's done i hadn't <laughs> thought about the fact that the redstone would run out but there we go, we've sort of bodged the job, but it works. It works perfectly. Thing. Not an issue at all. Thank you very anyway, much. Anyway, thanks for having me, and I will uh, see you soon. Yeah, bye. Okay, so we're just we're finished off at the skull over here, and Mama has done an amazing job. I didn't realise it was all that simple, actually. Um, I probably could have done it myself, maybe. But, um, you know, I'm not very good at redstone at all. I'm really, really that bad. Um, but I like the fact that the teeth actually come up separately. It kind of gives it... A little bit more of a kind of, I don't know, a quirk, I suppose. Um, Mumbo seems to have gone, uh, which is fine, because it is boiling hot in the UK right now. But he seems to have left uh, left uh, him on online. I don't know what he's looking at. Maybe he's just looking at the stars. 
Very nice. Um, I may have to actually just block him in, just in case, because I don't know if he's actually just... I think he's actually just left. He actually just left his room, left this on, um, and it's just night time right now, so I'm probably going to have to uh, uh, probably just do this a little bit and uh, hope that he just doesn't die, because that'd be really bad, all that diamond armour. Uh, yeah, so I think he's safe now, and uh, just thank you to Mumbo. If you haven't seen his channel, I mean, obviously you probably would have, being a hermitcraft watcher um yeah definitely go check it out and be sure to go over to his video and say thank you in the comments for coming over and doing an amazing job okay so after taking a breather outside it is a hell of a lot colder in here because my god i don't know what is happening but the weather in the uk is crazy and i've just realized i've done this wrong i need to actually have a block of wood here now i'm gonna do a bit of building on camera and i want to kind of explain to you guys about something i'm doing now this is at the request of a lot of you guys, mostly before I was actually on Hermitcraft. Um, but a lot of people wanted me to make a Patreon account. Now, uh, I've tweeted it out a couple of times, I may have mentioned it in one video, not quite sure. But um, it's a place where you can donate money towards um, me and I will you give you perks in kind of return. Um, so the giveaway perk is one of the kind of most popular ones on there. Quite a lot of people seem to be liking that, so that is something that I am excited about. Um, that is kind of for an avatar giveaway. If you don't know, I do like avatar artwork. Um, it's kind of weird to explain, but yeah, I do that. And is this going to be big enough? Maybe I need it one more. I'm not. That might be too tall. I'm not quite sure. Um, it's really weird building this on camera. Um, not quite sure. Either way, we'll, we'll just go with it and then we'll head down and have a look. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys about that if you want to donate or you have money to donate and you want to and stuff. And I don't know how to explain it to be honest, but uh, you guys will know what I'm on about because uh, you guys will probably know exactly what the website is. So uh, yeah, I just want to let you know that I have that and if anyone's interested then uh, feel free to go check that out. The links will be in the description as always and uh, yeah so I'm thinking I'm going to have this as like a cross so there's a cross on this end and there'll be a cross on that end and then every line should meet up I think I could be completely wrong I don't know whether or not I need something coming out this way maybe like a, a row do we, do we think a row like that and then this block goes up to this do we think that's going to look good I'm not quite sure um this is, this is the hardest thing to build ever. I don't know if you guys have ever built anything in the air, but my god, on a uh, vanilla uh, a server without flying or anything, it is becoming quite a nightmare, to be honest. Um, and it's interesting, it's fun to try and kind of work out where li these little things need to go. Like, I'm not quite sure if I need another road there, I suppose. Um, and then I'll have to have, like, this, maybe? And then that will carry on. Anyway, I think I'm going to head down now and have a look before I make too many mistakes here. Hope that it's kind of cool. Yeah, that looks that is pretty cool. And if I do the same at the bottom at the top there, that should look somewhat like an airship. I'm hoping that it's not too close. I think that dirt pillar that I've got there with a the ladder on it just so I can get up to the balloon is putting me off a little bit. But I think other than that, that'll look pretty snazzy to be honest I, I know I use word snazzy way too much I don't even use it in real life I don't know why I use it in these videos but whatever um it's very very snazzy so uh let me know what you think of that I don't know if the balloon needs to be any bigger or smaller mm, let me know in the comments below but I'm gonna go up there carry on building it because you guys don't want to see me build too much might be a bit boring building the same thing over and over again and I cannot get an ender pearl up there it's kind of crazy I have just finished the balloon and well not completely because I ran out of orange dye so uh, we have a few bits and bobs here and there that aren't quite complete. I think that's correct, I'm going to have to check it when I get some more um, clay together. I've actually got clay but I haven't got any, uh, I need to get some red and yellow flowers, I'm sure that there are some around here. Yeah there are some red flowers over there, some yellow flowers over there, okay I should be able to do that fairly easily so that's not too bad. Um, next up, I'm going to probably end up making some kind of room here because this is kind of the area that you'd usually have like a little room with a bed in and things. I was actually going to lay the bed down, although I kind of... Oh, there's a lot of... there's quite a lot of stuff in there. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with the floor yet, but I'm probably going to have to just put the bed... Let's put it on the side. Why not? Uh, have it there. Uh, that does mean that my spawn now is back at the original spawn by the iron farm, which is unhelpful, so hopefully I don't die because I'm not quite sure where to go to get back from there. 
because I haven't been there for a while. But anyway, uh, this is pretty much complete now. Um, I am going to have to end the episode here because it's getting kind of long. It takes me a long, long while to upload at the moment, which isn't ideal at all. Uh, we'll head down and have a look at it from down there. Um, but that's actually one thing that I didn't mention uh, with the Patreon thing. Um, is that if I reach $75, I'm at 65 which is crazy. So thank you to those six people that have donated um, that amount um, or up to that amount. That is amazing. Thank you so much. That is really going to go a long way. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, if I reach the 75 then that means I will be able to kind of start getting the ball rolling and getting better internet. Uh, any more than that and um, I think I've got like a live stream perk so that when I actually have the internet I'll be able to live stream Hermitcraft and speed arts and things like that and maybe do little giveaways and things like that on live stream which will be so much fun I really looking forward to that I hope I get to that kind of um, perk I suppose and uh, or goal I should say not a perk um, and yeah so I'm pretty much done here I'm gonna finish up those bits there you can see the dirt up there which isn't looking too fancy at all um, and then I'll get rid of that. I kind of want there to be a way of people to be able to jump or get up there with the ender pearl. So maybe I will, I don't know, put some kind of thing there. I don't know what to do. If anyone has any ideas of how I can let people kind of still get up there, but have it look cool, uh, that'd be awesome. So maybe I could have like a little um, ender pearl elevator just behind it, so you can't see it from here. But you can actually go over there and get up there. I'm not quite sure. But let me know in the comments below if you've got any ideas on that. But I'm going to have to finish this episode up here. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode with a little bit of a collab with Mumbo. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to have to do a lot more collabs because I kind of, I like them. A lot of people go, oh my god, why didn't you say a lot? I know, I know, I need to get better at that. But uh, let me know how you think I did with that. that I think that was cool. Uh, yeah, so uh, let me know what you think of this episode. I will let you guys go now, and uh, thank you very much for watching. I shall catch you guys later. See ya!